You are here uh, for this momentous uh, event, this incredible moment in your life that I hope you will cherish forever and remember forever. And I just am so humbled to be a part of it uh, uh, with you. Uh, you know, you, you've met Munir and Edela and um, Aisha as well. And mashallah, they're amazing people. And I'm sure they've already maybe even laid out the process for you, but just for the sake of, you know, um, making this as, as efficient as possible, I'll just quickly summarize. Um, I'm sure you know as well, the Shahada process is really easy. Like, mashallah, to come into Islam, it's so, it just takes a sincere heart and a few words, and that's it. I mean, and we believe, honestly, though, that by the fact that you're here, you're already part of this uh, family of Muslims. You're already our sister. This is just a formal process to officiate it. But uh, I, I feel that just subhanAllah, as soon as I came into the room and I saw your beaming smile, I felt that from you. Uh, so um, the actual process uh, that, that we do is basically, I'll just be reciting the Shahada in Arabic and I'll go at a very slow pace so that you can repeat with me. Um, and then we'll say it in English. Uh, um, do, are you familiar with, with that? I'm sorry, because I, I usually get like all of this back sort of knowledge or, or context uh, beforehand, but this was a little bit uh, done a little differently, which is fine. But are you familiar with the Shahada? Do you, are, do you, are you, do you know how the phrase or the declaration um, is stated? Do you know it? You know yeah. what it means? Okay, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, beautiful. Okay, Alhamdulillah. And if you don't mind, just for, um, uh, for us, uh, just to have, again, total transparency here, would you mind if I ask what your previous religious background, if any, what it, what it is or what it was? I appreciate the question. Um, mine is one of those um, journeys that I can summarize fairly easily, but was basically born of a situation where I was not planned. My um, I never knew my biological father and my mother not having a whole lot of insight as to how the world works was without religion and was basically just thumbing her way through life to the best of her ability, made a lot of mistakes. And so in short, fast forward to 20 years, she gave birth to my youngest sister. I was nearly 20 years older then. And um, when my sister was just one month shy of her 16th birthday, she died from an epileptic seizure that, oh, did I lose you? No, no, I am here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> all, of the, all of a sudden, I was just seeing myself. Um, so in short, that moment caused a real imbalance in my life. And I was on the quest to find answers because she was the dearest person to me. I had never been so close or um, really been able to measure what love was until she was born and came into my life. So I ended up finding a Buddhist monastery, studied Buddhism, um, learned from some wonderful nuns and monks um, how to be more mentally disciplined and physically disciplined. And so really the first, if I could call it religion, um, <clears throat> that came into my life was Buddhism. And then Sometime, maybe nearly a year later, um, my relative who um, was also affected uh, by my sister's passing had suggested I pray a Christian prayer. And so um, she gave me a book and I began to read and then I was inquisitive enough and read the Bible cover to cover and um, started attending Christian churches and eventually was baptized. Um, but Further on down the road, I was really just sort of baffled how so many of the pieces didn't really fit. And I was still searching and I had kind of stumbled upon some, <clears throat> some verbiage about the Holy Quran. And I was curious, but I didn't really aspire to learn because I knew it was a different language. And I just thought I hadn't yet been fully inspired until September this year when I had been really just kind of at the lowest point in my life for a very long while. Um, just empty, really depleted and feeling very defeated. And this bright light came 
into my life that just illuminated the beauty of all things that I think that were pressing in my heart, but that I hadn't really quite been able to piece together in terms of who Allah is and what Allah what Allah does for us. And I was inspired to read the Quran. So I bought my first Quran, read from cover to cover. And I know now that this was the definitive intention for me. It just kind of took me a little longer road, maybe, um, and a whole lot of bumps and bruises along the way. But I see how I've arrived um, at least whole enough to really recognize what is true. And I am so genuinely grateful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, Aisha. That was such a beautiful testimony. I, um, wow, you've left me really speechless. Thank you for, for sharing that. I'm sorry, because you probably are going to get this question so much, uh, as more and more people learn of you coming into the faith. And I have to just prepare you for that. This will be the question that everybody wants to know, like, what's your journey? Tell us your story. But what a beautiful, beautiful story. Thank you. It was, uh, mashallah. I mean, first of all, um, may God, you know, bring you peace over your sister's passing. I pray that you are reunited with her in the best of places. She sounds like a lovely person. Um, uh, so I'm sorry that you uh, went through that. But the fact that, you know, she's, her passing led you to this path is, is just uh, it's such an incredible, uh, you know, gift that she left you with, right? Even though she she left, she also left you this gift. So Alhamdulillah, you know, um, we always say that we all have different paths, but uh, the, the fact that we get here is what matters, right? The fact that you're here, even if it, you stumbled along the path, we've all stumbled. You know, some of us who were born into the faith, we've certainly stumbled a lot. But Alhamdulillah for God's mercy and the fact that uh, he awakens us, as you said so beautifully, you know, that you just felt, felt illuminated. And that really is what I think many of us who, who embrace this faith, whether we're again born into it or we come into it, it is coming out from a darkness, right? That we just suddenly realize this is what I need to hold on to because otherwise we're just floundering trying to find our way in this very, very complex world. So Alhamdulillah, thank you so much for sharing. Really beautiful. I, 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 I don't know if you're in local. Are you local in the, in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area? I live in Concord. Oh my God, that's where I was raised. Like, oh wow, <laughs> my mom lives there. I was just there the other day. Oh, okay. I, sh I hope to meet you. I would love to meet you. I would love to, you know, sit with you and spend some time with you. You're close. That's wonderful news. Um, yeah, I would love to get to know you more and, and hear more about your journey. You're so well-spoken, such a great storyteller, mashallah. Uh, Brother Munir, I, I'm sure you took note of, of Sister Aisha. We may have to bring her on to the to the speaker circuit at MCC at some point, <laughs> inshallah. But no, you really are. You're a very, very uh, captivating storyteller. You had me uh, gripping, uh, you know, right from the beginning. So um, mashallah, it's just such, a, such an honor. But thank you uh, for, for all of that. And, and just again, I feel like, mashallah, you know, you're already here, but let's, you know, if, if, if you're ready, we can proceed and we can, we can uh, um, go ahead and officiate this, this beautiful moment, inshallah. So uh, the Shahada, as you know, you know it, it's very short. And typically some speakers or some people who officiate will do it one time or three times based on the preference. Are you comfortable with either or, or would you like to, the, the Prophet I said, when he would emphasize something, he would repeat it three times. And that's where that practice comes from. So I, I do prefer to do it three times just to kind of, you know, in, align ourselves with him. And also for us who are witnessing I think it's just really, um, it's always beautiful to say the Shahada with someone who's coming to the faith because we reaffirm our own faith in that moment as well. So if you're comfortable with that, we could do three, but if you want to just keep it simple, short and sweet, we can do one, two as well, whatever you prefer. I love the idea of three. <sighs> Alhamdulillah. Okay. I am so, again, honored and excited to be here. Bismillah. Um, so we'll begin and I'll repeat it in Arabic and then we'll do the definition after the three full statements in Arabic, we'll do the English definition and then that will be it. So, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We first begin and say, Ash-hadu. Ash-hadu. 
Yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to give you the instruction. So I will repeat, uh, I mean, I will say it and then you repeat immediately after me. So we'll start again, Bismillah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La ilaha. La ilaha. Il Allah. Il Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul Allah. Rasul Allah. Beautiful, mashallah. So that's one down. Two more. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La ilaha. La ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul Allah. Rasul Allah. MashaAllah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La ilaha. La ilaha. Il Allah. Il Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul Allah. Rasul Allah. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. God is great. Welcome to the faith, Sister Aisha. You are now a Muslim, although you were one even seconds ago, but you are, it is official. You are, alhamdulillah, part of this incredible ummah. Welcome. You are our sister in faith. Uh, what you just did, but you're here uh, is, of course, the Shahada, which simply states that I bear witness that there is no God, but the one and only God, God. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of God. And that is all it takes for someone to come into the faith, of course, to feel it in the heart, to, to testify it in the heart and on the tongue. So alhamdulillah, welcome, welcome. I wish I could hug you. <laughs> alhamdulillah. And that's usually what we do. There's usually a line and we just, everybody crowds around and alhamdulillah, you have to kind of get through that. But a uh, really special moment. Jazakallah khairan for allowing us to be a part of it. Did you have any questions? Um, or Sister Evelyn or Brother Munir, do you have any any announcements? Anything? Let's. I think it would be good to bring them back into the conversation, inshallah. Anything to share, Aisha? How do you feel? Mashallah, that was really, really beautiful. Mashallah, thank you, Sister Aisha, to, for you know sharing your story with us. It was really um, moving, and you know, it's uh, you've been through so much, Mashallah, and may Allah continue to open doors and um, beautiful bring beautiful blessings into your life. I mean, and also um, Sister Jose, Jose, if you want to talk to her about like the, her slate being clean and duas being accepted, Absolutely. inshallah. Yes. Um, but anyway, thank you so much. And inshallah, like a brother Munir will be, or has already added you to my mailing, the yeah. mailing list that I send out. So um, inshallah, I'll follow up with you about that because we have some stuff coming up, inshallah. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Adeline, Aisha. <laughs> Mashallah, both of you. I love it. Uh, Brother Munir, did you have any uh, anything to, for, for Sister Aisha? Anything, any announcements? Mashallah, you said it all, Ostada, but uh, just, you just honored us, Sister um, Heather, by allowing us to be part of the special day. It was, a, it was just a special privilege to be part of your spiritual journey. And you'll hear this again and again from uh, us because we live this, um, this, this saying that uh, this is a... This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. <laughs> We're going to take it slowly. And we are here for you. Uh, we're running this with you. And um, and we're there to make it beautiful for you, as you are for us, to give you water, to give you Gatorade, to give you whatever you need <laughs> to run this run this marathon with you. So that's that's what, what, what it's all about. And so thank you for the thing. And Ostada Jose will say that, uh, you know, your slate is clean. It's yes. like the day you came out of your your mother's womb, you get to keep your good deeds. And because of your wonderful presence, I can tell you have a lot of that. <laughs> and uh, and thank you for sharing your story yet, by the way, very touching. Uh, it just reminded me of the old saying that God reserves his hardest uh, test for his strongest soldiers. And yeah. Amazing. So, alhamdulillah. And uh, and but, but please pray for us because you know we are all weighed down for what by by baggage by things that we have to answer for. 
and uh, the sins that we do. Uh, but your 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 prayers are very direct, very uh, go go direct to God right now, and so that's why we have to selfishly ask for ourselves right now, which is it's a yeah alhamdulillah. so i'll let Ustada say things forgive me Ustada, for no no no, not at all thank you so much thank you both for the those reminders you know we do so many i don't know where that's coming from but mashallah <laughs> that was like a you know like a drum roll like someone just <laughs> Is that it's coming from one of you? I don't know where it's coming from. I have no idea where that's coming from. Do you know where it's coming from, Brother Manir? I'm checking all my tabs. I have a million tabs open right now. Usada Jose, I think it's yours because yeah, when I'm we were on mute, it was still coming. Oh my so. gosh, really? <laughs> yeah. I am so sorry. I'm fine. It's very beautiful. Yeah, I wish we. What? What? What, what is? What is this part of the Quran? <laughs> yeah, Allah. You know, I have a YouTube video up for the Qalam Institute. I'm so sorry. I had no idea it was on. <laughs> Good. But the timing was so perfect. Yes, subhanallah. <laughs> oh my goodness, alhamdulillah. Uh, there's no better words, of course, than the words of Allah. But Sister Aisha, as uh, my dear Sister Aisha and Brother Munir reminded, when you've come into Islam, we believe that you are, as they said, like a newborn baby. You are sinless. All of your past good deeds uh, accrue. I mean, they, they, they join you. And also your any sins or any or mistakes, any misdeeds you've made also get converted into hasanat or good deeds for you. So you basically have, uh, you know, abundance and a surplus of good deeds. To, to uh, And that's why we seek your duas, because you are not only uh, in that beautiful, pure state, but you're also your duas are considered what we say mustajab, which is that there's a lot of power right now because you've come into this faith, you've made the ultimate sacrifice and to come into Islam and as an adult, of course, uh, I was reminded earlier listening to our teacher, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, who's also a convert. He was saying that sometimes people forget that the all of the first generation were converts. Uh, the, the Sahaba, the wives of the Prophet, they're all converts. So converts have an immense role in our faith and they have such a weightiness because they make the ultimate sacrifice. And so you join the ranks of all of those amazing, uh, incredible people, of course, and, and here even with us, Sister Aisha, who's also a convert and who, uh, who leads the convert care. And so many of our uh, members of our community are converts. Um, our teachers, uh, you know, the teacher that I just mentioned, um, I don't know if you're familiar with his work, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, but I think you would really appreciate, he has a book on Islam and Buddhism. Uh, he wrote a, a section uh, on, you know, uh, comparing the two faiths. And also, I don't know if you're familiar with Dr. Thomas Cleary, who was, uh, he wrote uh, many books on Buddhism. He's actually one of the great translators of the Buddhist tradition. He passed away actually, I believe in August or July of this past year, unfortunately, but he, um, he was also a Muslim. People don't know that about him. So there are so many people that you're going to meet who've had very similar paths. And Buddhism, subhanAllah, is one of those traditions similar to Christianity where people, it's its like a doorway. It's, it's a stepping stone that they will, just with a little bit more uh, study, find their way to Islam. So I, I, I really um, was thinking of that as you were speaking, like subhanAllah, I'm not surprised, especially because you said you were a seeker and seekers you know, Allah, like subhanAllah pulls you because you're seeking the truth. And until you get to that truth, you're not satisfied. And that's why your journey is so beautiful because it shows the sincerity of your heart. You went through loss and you started, you know, that inquiry and that inquiry took you to these beautiful other traditions, which there are beauties, uh, beautiful truths and in, in, uh, in universal truths in all of these beautiful faiths. But alhamdulillah, you're here. <laughs> you're here with, uh, in Islam and uh that, of course, um, is such a gift. Islam really is a gift. And I, I would love to, again, um, speak to you further, inshallah, when you're you know, ready to come and join us in person. I have halakas that I do or like gatherings for women. Uh, the last Friday of every Thursday, you are always welcome. And if you ever come to, to MCC, I'm five minutes away. I would be honored to meet you, to give you a tour, to just spend some time with you. And maybe, um, inshallah, when, when we are able to do that, we can provide some resources for you. I, I'm sure, actually, um, Sister Aisha already has that 
process ready because mashallah they're so good at, at helping uh, the, you know with the convert care program to make sure you have the resources you need but i will happily share my information with you if you want to be in touch with me any questions you have or any just to feel like you know i'm i'm, I'm now part of of something much bigger and it is it's a family and i I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going on so long, but I love this community so much. Like MCC, Brother Munir knows this. I made, I, I came from Southern California and I made specific uh, dua that Allah grant me the ability to move close to MCC because I love these people so much. Um, and you will feel the love in, in, on this. And I've been a part of many communities, but uh, what you get from the MCC community is really, really special. So that's why I'm so happy you took your Shahada with us and uh, that we will be honored with uh, with uh, seeing you and having you part of our community. So thank you. Uh, forgive me for going on so long, but any anything to share, any final uh, remarks from you? I genuinely feel so incredibly blessed as, as I realize that with the guidance of Allah, he is drawing me near to some extraordinarily wonderful people. All three of you have definitely um, a very special place in my heart, uh, not only because you have gone out of your way to be so accommodating to a very <laughs> um, uh, on the spot, um, <laughs> request but i i will tell you that i have really been praying to allah for an opportunity to um experience more of the muslim community and i feel like he has brought me closer to some mm -hmm. wonderful people so i'm just so grateful thank you each of you <laughs> That's so sweet. I can tell you that the feeling is very, very, very mutual. Uh, I'm so touched. Thank you uh, to, for again requesting this last minute shahada. I I felt like it was like the lottery, really, to have this subhanAllah on this blessed night. Uh, so thank you in this blessed sacred month of Rajab. I mean, there's just so many uh, wonderful gifts that you've given all of us. Um, and to reaffirm our own testimony of faith is always, as I said, such a blessing. So thank you. I look forward to being in touch with you. Um, and I thank Brother Munir for making that contact. He knows, he knows he's got that VIP. He can text me anytime he wants, but especially with these requests. So <laughs> I jumped on the opportunity, but I'm so grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And may Allah make it easy for you. You know, as Brother Munir said, this is a marathon and there's going to be a lot. It, it, it's such a beautiful time. And I don't want to, you know, say any more than that. Just, just cherish it, relish it, enjoy it, take your time and just really grow in your love of, of your creator who's basically pulling you towards him inch by inch, inch by inch every day. And inshallah, may Allah surround you with beautiful people who hold you, who give you space, who, who, um, who you know, really support you during this time. And, uh, and we just, we're, we're excited to have you. So thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Giving you lots of hugs, virtual hugs. <laughs> I'm a hugger, so I hope you're okay with that. Because I will hug you at some point. <laughs> Definitely right. virtual hugs, lots of virtual hugs from our side too. My side. Alhamdulillah. I can do a, a quick closing dua before we, yes, we head out. Okay. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asr inna al-insana la fi khusr illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil-haqqi wa tawasaw bil-sabr. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Allahumma salli wa sallam wa barik ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana wa Habibina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasliman kathira subhana rabbika rabbil izzati ya ma yusufun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Ya Allah, we ask that you bless our dear sister Aisha, increase her, draw her closer to you, provide for her from every which direction. Ya Allah, surround her and envelop her in your mercy and in your care and bring her guidance uh, every single day so that she can again benefit our community and we can benefit her. Alhamdulillah, thank you for bringing us together. Please bless MCC and the MCC community, Brother Munir, Sister Aisha, their families, all of their loved ones, everyone's loved ones. Ya Allah, please protect and preserve them all. Thank you for this wonderful gift alhamdulillah sister aisha joining our faith alhamdulillah thank you
<laughs> Thank you, Ayakum. Barakalabikum. Thank you, Aisha. Have a wonderful e evening, both of you. Aisha, <laughs> <laughs> have a wonderful evening, Brother Munir, as well. Inshallah, we will see you soon. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. Take care.